Hi everyone, this is Mike Running. I'm a broker associate with Keller Williams on the Water. We promised this summer to tell the story of Longboat Key, and we're adding a new feature. It's a new section to everything else that we're doing. We have with us today the owner of the publisher of the Longboat Key News. This is Steve Reed. Steve, how are you doing today? Good morning. Doing real well. Thanks, Michael. Thanks for <coughs> being out here. I really appreciate that. Why don't you tell everyone where we're at today? Well, I'm happy to be here. Today, we are at a very important Important location. It doesn't look like much today, but this was the site of Patty George's restaurant um, for for decades. Uh, this this restaurant uh, served prior to um, the 19, uh, 2000, uh, 1999, 2000, it was a mainstay of the restaurant. People would come here for uh, to go dancing, they'd have Italian night, and Patty George's was founded in the 60s by Patty and George, a Greek couple, uh, I think it was Catanopolis, and they sold it to Murph Clauber eventually, and there's that Clauber name, the infamous Clauber family, <clears throat> and Murph, who had recently settled with the town, was flush with some money and invested it in Patty George's restaurant. His son, Tommy, who I believe is the youngest son in the family, was the uh, chef and ran the food and beverage aspect of the colony restaurant. So he came and became the, the new chef here at Patty George's. And for those who remember, Tommy introduced the kind of cuisine Longboat hadn't seen. He introduced fusion cuisine. He came and did interactive dinners and longboaters would come. They loved it. And the place existed on the waterfront for, for almost 15, 20 years with Tommy running it. He went off to um, the Polo Grill, which he started in Lakewood Ranch, made that an exceptionally um, big enterprise out there. And meanwhile, life moved on here. The colony fell in disrepair. We know that story. And the restaurant kind of sat. It stayed. It held its own. But time passed by, and eventually Tommy sold it to the owners of the Columbia Restaurant. Mm -hmm. And long story short, the Gosmart family and Richard Gonsmart, they're coming into town, and they're going to open a big waterfront restaurant here, a 200-seat waterfront restaurant. Let's step back for just a second. We're on the key. Whereabouts on the key are we at right now? Sir? We're mid-key. We're mid-key. The, um, the island is half Sarasota County on the south end and half Manatee County, and we're just north of the county line. We're in Manatee County, and, um, and, and we're in one of the narrowest parts of the key. You can see the water. Eric, can you maybe pan around just a little bit with the camera so folks can see? This is a beautiful view. It's Sunday morning. It's just fantastic looking out there. This is what Longboat Key is all about. It really is a special a waterfront spot. It's like Ophelia's on Siesta Key. Mm -hmm. Very intimate dining. And that was kept here. Uh, the, the Columbia Group, they leveled this a, a week ago. <clears throat> and they were very care careful to leave the docks and seawall in place. And this will be uh, part of the new restaurant. They plan a 200-seat restaurant, full outdoor dining. People will be able to uh, take their boats to the restaurant, which we all love to do. Yeah. And um, and then as an add-on, the Gonsmart family also bought um, Harbor Square next door. And um, Harbor Square is a long-standing office building that. Um, that is occupied with tenants. He's not going to tear it down. Richard Godsmart says it won't be torn down. It'll be used for overflow parking, where people can park there, and then they'll be able to walk through and come get their mojitos and then stumble back to their cars. And they'll be using it to a dock also when they come to eat. So what's the timing of the project? When are they targeting to open this? Do they know yet? Well, developers are always optimistic. It's be open by now, but it's going to we should see some development by early next year on this site. Okay. The, I mean, obviously we've seen the demo. Then the next step is the plans will be approved by the town, then permitting, and then we get the construction. And um, the, the, the piece of irony for Longbow Key was the two clobber interests, the two clobber family interests, one is the colony, and that's going to be demolished in two weeks, and then this got demolished last week. So the clobber family which has served this island well and, and, and given us years of enterprise. We're saying goodbye to, to what they built, and, and a couple of great new things are coming. So it's pretty exciting. Let's talk about the ambiance, the motif of Longbow Key. It's, um, 
you know, it's a mix of old and new. I mean, there's no chain stores here, no chain restaurants on the island, things like that. How is this restaurant going to fit into that? Is there going to be some uniqueness that you know about? Um, what's the... Yeah, the all right. All right, it is a little bit of a transition. Um, Patty George's was uh, what we call a chef-driven restaurant. You know, Tommy Clover came in, very talented individual, drove the menu, drove the restaurant. Harry's on the key, chef-driven restaurant. Harry, the chef, Harry Christensen, Euphemia Hay. Um, you have you have uh, RP, Ray RP, chef-driven restaurant. We have a number of those, very important. Then I would say the Columbia Group is a little different evolution. They own, what, I think seven or eight restaurants in the region, big organization. Mm -hmm. What they're going to put in, I would believe, will be somewhat similar to the Columbia that we know, but with a little bit more of an elevated seafood flair. This, okay what they're saying. They're going to name it the Buccaneer. And the Buccaneer Inn was a famous restaurant inn that closed on Longboat Key years ago. And it was the Columbia family's favorite place to come when they were here. So they're tying history in. I don't think it'll be a little chef-driven restaurant. I think they're going to take their classic Spanish-inspired cuisine, mix it with high-end seafood, and that's what we'll have. So even though we're seeing progress on the island right now, it's a step a, a blast from the past, going back to what Longboat had years ago. Is that correct? Yeah, I, I think it, it, it's going to be a wonderful thing. They're going to keep a waterfront, low-level restaurant. It's going to be by a family that we know and trust and a successful family. I think this restaurant will be here for generations, the one that's coming. And I'm really glad it's not a big, ugly chain. No. This is going to be, yeah, no, Longboat is one of the few places in the world where we don't have chains. We don't, I mean, who's Team Rennick? We don't even know Team There's no chains. That's right. It's One of a kind. Absolutely. And that's, yeah. that's, you know, that's what I like Longboat. I came down here in 2010. And the nice thing is, is, is it is different. It is modern but rustic at the same time. It's easy to travel around. The restaurants are great. I can prove that by looking at my belly. I'm not afraid to say that. So <laughs> I'm fucking I, I, yeah. Um, I, I eat well in Longboat Key as part of that. But, Steve, I really appreciate you taking the time on a Sunday morning to share your background with this. Anything else you'd like to add? No, I think, though, what we'll see is more of this. The island is, is, um, was, is built out. So we're going to see this as time goes on. Important buildings, condominiums are going to be demolished, and new things are going to come. And we're in a very active phase of that. We're going to see it at the colony over the next year. We're going to see it here. And we'll see it, maybe we'll visit in the coming weeks, we'll go up to Morris Restaurant, which oh. is demolished, and we have a new restaurant coming there, and that's very exciting. So it's happening. Very good. We plan to come back weekly or as often as we can to continue telling the story from the resident's perspective, the visitor's perspective, but now we want to add a little bit of a news slant as progress comes to the island, things happening like that. So check back often. Steve has agreed to be a strong partner in this, this uh, relationship, this endeavor to tell the story of the island. And I can't think of a better person to tell it than the publisher owner of the Longboat Key News. So Steve, thank you very much for being here. Thanks, Mike. I look forward to our next time. Enjoyed it. Take care. Goodbye.